welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. It's late, it's 10.53. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but before I go to bed, I gotta take all this off. And it's kind of interesting because I've contemplated doing like an updated um, like skincare video. I posted one to my channel months ago and I've received a lot of new products. Y'all know I went a little crazy when Sephora was having their VIB sale. So I've been using a lot of new things and I'm like a product junkie, so I've been wanting to share. And while that was going through my head, then a couple weeks ago, a company reached out, asked if I wanted to try their product, which happens to be skincare related. And I said, yes, yes, please. And so I'm kind of merging those, those two worlds. So I'm gonna share this product I was sent and then subsequently show you all of like the skincare that I'm using that I've used for a while um, and the things that are kind of newer to me that I'm loving. Um, so I'm not being paid for this. I just want to put that out there. They literally said, can we send you our product for an honest review? To which I said, yes, of course, because honesty is our policy around here. And if I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you. So said product is a spin care brush system. I've seen these for years. I've never bit the bullet. I've never tried one, but I've always been intrigued. Um, this is by the company Duvall. This is what their, like the main part of their spin care system looks like. It runs on four AA batteries. It's pretty quiet. It's waterproof. So you can keep it in the shower. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. And it comes with four attachments. So it comes with two interchangeable like brush heads. This one is the like everyday wash your face brush head. And then this is the exfoliating one. So essentially what these are gonna do, it's just gonna get like more gunk off your face. It's gonna get more makeup off. It's gonna unclog those pores. It's gonna get out more of that dirt and oil. Um, I would say the daily one does it more gently and the exfoliating one does like a more deep clean. Then you get a body attachment so you can see this one is a lot larger um, in comparison to the facial attachment. This one I like to use on my arms. I will say I've been using this for a week, um, a week now because I want, I didn't want it to be like a first impression thing. I wanted to actually use it. So I've been using it every day for a week um, so I can give you guys like an actual kind of review. Um, so I've been using this on my arms. I get just like the white bumps. I don't have like body acne or anything, but I get little white bumps on my arms. This has been great. And then the last attachment is this little, little pumice stone, um, which you can use on your feet, on your elbows, anywhere on your body that's really dry, essentially. I used this on my heels and it worked like a dream. So I'm gonna show you how I use this. I will tell you my overall um, review of it is that it's fantabulous, I love it. My only critique, my only like, negative is that the exfoliating attachment is pretty rough on the skin. Honestly, I would rather just use a gentle face scrub um, than use the brush. It's, 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 slightly, it's slightly rough, but I've been using the gentle face um, cleansing attachment every day, sometimes twice a day, and I love it. I can just tell it's doing more to my face than my fingers, like it's just, getting, it's getting my face more clean than just me taking my hands and like rubbing my face wash around. Um, so I have really been liking it. I definitely think it's worth the money. It's normally just right under a hundred bucks, but they gave me a code where you get 70% off. So I think it comes to, yes, yeah, so it comes to 28.50 instead of right under a hundred bucks. So I would definitely say if it's something you've been thinking about, if it's something that you're kind of interested in, it's definitely for 28 bucks worth the money. Even if you only, like me, really enjoy three out of the four attachments, I still think it's a big bang for your buck. Okay, so now we're gonna get serious. <laughs> we're gonna actually wash this face, oh my gosh. I did a full face of makeup today, so you'll really get to see like, I do use a makeup wipe, but you'll really get to see between the makeup wipe and the spin care system, like how clean it can get my face. All right, so first thing I always do is go in with my makeup wipe. Y'all know if you've seen any of my empties videos, these are my tried and true. These are just the makeup remover wipes from Neutrogena, the light blue pack. I do not care for any of the other color packs, the purple, the teal, they're terrible.
All right, so now that I've gotten most, I love, I love these wipes. Um, I know they're not the most eco-friendly, but they seriously work. Um, now that I've gotten most of the makeup off of my face, um, I'm gonna go in with the skincare brush. Now, I've done this two ways. The first way that I did it was I like wet my face, put all my face wash on, and then went over it with the brush. But I decided to save myself a step and try wetting the brush, like drizzling essentially my face wash onto it and then going in and I actually prefer that way. Not just because then my hands aren't a mess and I'm, I'm essentially like kind of washing my face twice, um, but I just feel like because the product's on the actual brush, it just feel, feels like it works better. It feels like I get a deeper clean that way. That might totally be like psychosomatic and like in my head, but that's how I feel. So I'm going to wet my brush. Again, it's waterproof, so you don't have to worry about it getting like wet. And then I'm gonna take my face wash. This is a new one that I got at the, on the, when Sephora was having their sale. It's the Drunk Elephant Best Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser. I love it. I'm not like a ride or die with any face wash. Like prior to this, I was not like, oh my God, the, this is my favorite face wash. I've used many a face wash. Uh, and this one is fantastic. So I'm gonna take the spin brush and then I'm just going to do like, I guess like probably like, a, I don't even know if you guys could see that, but it's, it was like a dime size amount on there. And then we're just gonna go in. So you can see it's starting to lather. I also feel like, because you're putting it right on the brush, you do get like a better lather this way, if that's your jam. All right, so that's what we're left with. You can see like my brush is a little tinted from like whatever makeup was still really clinging on there. Um, which which is a good thing. I mean the wipe gets a lot off and in my mind it gets off To me normally I would think oh it got off everything. Well, clearly not um, So I always rinse this right after um, I use it and then of course I'll rinse my face All right next up this is fairly new. I've had this for about a week as well um, I'm obsessed. This is by the brand flawless and it is a facial hair remover. Um, so this is the cap, you just pop that off. This is kind of what the head of it looks like. And you literally turn it on. It has a little light in case you like, really like wanna see what you're getting off of your face. And you just go in circles or lines, kind of like where you would normally have hair. I really just get peach fuzz all over my face. So that's all I'm really, really worried about. I mentioned in the video, I think in a what I eat in a day video, I talked about this product. I don't get the like stash. I just get peach fuzz like all over my face. Y'all, if that's something that you um, are worried about, I highly, highly, highly recommend this thing. It was 20 bucks. It's so easy to use. And I don't do this every day. I do this probably twice a week. Um, so it just happens that it, this fell on like the day I was filming this video. Um, and I, I just, I love it. So after you're done using it, using it, this top twists off. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there. Probably not, but there is like fuzz in there. Um, and they give you, I forgot to pull it out, but they give you this little brush as well. So you can just kind of like swirl around, clean it out, done deal. It's just, I mean, the ease of this of this device is, is next level. All right, so my next step is going in with this um, Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. So this is the toner that I use at night. I use a different one for the day. This is great with just like dullness, uneven skin tone. Because it's so high in glycolic acid, because it's 7%, it's actually also an exfoliant. Um, which is really awesome. So I just put that on a cotton round and just swipe it all over my face. If you're new around here and you've never heard me talk about like my skincare, 
Um, just <laughs> long, long, long story short, I really didn't care about my skin for like the longest time. I used things on my face, but I just didn't really care about ingredients. I didn't care about anti-aging. And it wasn't until like early last year that I really started researching and look like looking into decent skincare and looking into like a skincare system. And now I'm just kind of obsessed. Like I want to use really good stuff and I want to know what it does for my skin. And that has led me to become like an ordinary stan. I just cannot rave e like enough. I cannot rave more about their products. All right, after I do apply my toner, um, I go in with this buffet serum. I use this morning and night. And this is um, essential, essentially a buffet. It's a buffet of like peptides and hyaluronic acid. And it has a ton, comes in this little vial, of um, properties that are just really good for keeping your skin hydrated and holding in kind of that elasticity. It's, it's a serum, but it's not, it's not super thin. And it just feels so good. After that, I go in with the Matrixel. So this is for fine lines and wrinkles. It's full of peptides. And because of that, it really helps just like diminish the look of any fine lines and wrinkles on, on your skin. This one is a little tackier than the Buffet Serum. It's not sticky by any means, but it's just a little tackier. And lastly, in terms of serums, I go in with this Argireline solution. Um, I've seen many a video on YouTube about this particular product, and it's actually known as like the wrinkle remover. It's supposed to be like this wonder product. I have like barely any of this left. This one is more of a, let's see if I can show, see how thin it is. It's more of a water consistency. Um, and you're only supposed to put it on places where you have fine lines and wrinkles. So I only focus on my forehead, my smile lines, and then I just put a touch kind of on my, my crow's feet, which I don't know. I don't feel like they're that prominent. For me, it's more the forehead and the, this. All right, next up I go in with my first eye product. Um, so this is newer to me. It's also a newer brand. I've been using it for about a month uh, and I have really been liking it. This is by the Inky List. It's supposed to kind of be like the Ordinary's competition. So price-wise, very affordable um, and really good products. This is their Brighten Eye Eye Cream. And I really, really like this stuff. Um, one thing I really enjoy about their packaging is they not only show you like how to use it, they show you when, so they say you can use it morning and night, and then they specifically show you when to use it. So um, you can see here it has hydrate and it says use before moisturizer, which if the ordinary has failed at anything, it has been, they're not explicit with like when to use certain products. Like I had to do that research on my own um, and figure out like when to layer everything. So this stuff is great. It has four times the potency um, of like vitamin C. So it really just like targets the dark circles and the puffiness and it just helps like illuminate that area, which I really need help with, um, because I have such dark circles under my eyes. So next I go in with this other product from the Inky List. This is their Ceramide Night Treatment. So this is mainly for hydration. It just helps with your skin being rehydrated, like feeling rehydrated in the morning, being really supple, um, almost being like bouncy to the touch. I've been loving this stuff. It comes in a handy dandy little pump and just like the eye cream on the back, it tells you exactly when to use it, only use it at night. And then it tells you which step in your skincare routine um, you should be putting it on in, which I think is like really handy. Um, I use, one and a half pumps of this and just kind of rub it, but also like pat it into my face. All right, this is the, this is the second and final eye item that I go in with, eye product. This is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. Now this is tinted, which I know might seem kind of silly, like to be going, you know, to be using this in my skincare at night when I'm going to bed, why am I using something that's tinted? Um, but this has so many 
properties that help with circles and, and uh, dark circles and depuffing that doesn't have to do with the tint um, that I really enjoy just like layering it with that um, inky list uh, eye serum this has caffeine in it it has licorice root it has a lot of um, benefits other than just like the coloring so I use this morning and night um, they do suggest that you do that and so that's what I've been doing and I just feel like that combo has been working wonders so after I've already started applying it um, this applicator is pretty cool the product comes out of that tip and then on the other side you have this metal paddle that you can kind of um, not kind of that you can uh, make sure that you spread it like evenly with and it feels so good on the under eye area because it's very very cooling um, I'm sure that that has something to do with the depuffing, um, and I just, I love this product. I completely bought it on a whim. I was looking for an eye product similar to this. I couldn't find it, so I checked out Sephora's site, and this, the reviews were, like, amazing. Uh, so I decided to pick it up, and I'm so happy that I did. All right, our last thing. This is, um, again, by The Ordinary. You can tell. I'm a fan. This is the 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. So I like to alternate between this and the Ordinary Lotion that I use in the daytime. This is the one I use in the day. It's, like, their straight-up just, like, facial moisturizer lotion. Um... I alternate between the oil and the lotion when it comes to nighttime. The oil is fantastic because it's cold pressed, so it has a lot of benefits that um, you know other lotions or creams don't have because it is cold pressed, so everything's like really fresh for lack of a better word. It hasn't been processed, and it's packed with um, vitamin A and a bunch of other nutrients that are just really good for your skin. I find when I use the oil with that ceramide night treatment my skin the next morning is just like i mean supple is an understatement i'm able to tell that it's kind of pilling a little bit um on my skin that's just because i i kind of like rushed <laughs> i rushed through this a bit um if you tend to have that problem when you're layering um products it's because you're going too fast and you need to spend more time kind of letting stuff sink into your skin before you go on to the next um, product. So just PSA about that. So that's it, friends. That was my skincare routine. That's what I do every night, again, unless I'm alternating between this and my lotion. There are two or three other products that I don't religiously use every night. So this was kind of like tonight's skincare routine. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you are interested in trying that dual skincare brush, definitely check out the link below. Again, 70% off if there was ever a time to get one. Um, especially if you were already interested prior to this. Like, the time is now. That price is like next level good so definitely check that out give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed drop me a comment down below y'all know i'm a product junkie um and especially after buying kind of these new inky list products my little hair remover device um i am like jonesing to just try more stuff so let me know what you guys use what you guys are loving um i i'd really be interested so drop me a comment and i will see you guys in my next one